As part of efforts to mitigate the high rate of gender-based violence, criminality in the society, I beg your pardon, I'll take that story again. As part of efforts to mitigate the high rate of gender-based violence and criminality in the society, and to understand the environment, global peace development, International Alert has created a pathway for stability and process of justice and accountability through traditional leaders, security agencies, and critical stakeholders in order to end sexual gender-based violence. It is also seeking local social justice and stability in Shikun local government area of Kaduna State. Based violence is only increasing in Kaduna communities with women, girls and children most affected. Against this concern, peace stakeholders organize community engagement with security agencies to build partnership, ensure effective oversight and accountability of the security institution. The Program Officer of Global Peace Development, Yusuf Yassau, says over 4,000 persons in Jamaha and Shikun are sexually abused, noting that insecurity contributes to social decadence in communities and to ensure access to justice for victims and punishment to perpetrators. The Jamaha local government, I think, is at the increasing rate. is more than 4,000 cases. Most people that suffer is women and children because they play a significant uh, uh, parts in terms of sexual and gender based. Because at that moment, some people, they'll become vulnerable. Even the ladies, young ladies, they'll become vulnerable. Without, if you don't have food at that moment, you can do anything. Some of them will even engage themselves in terms of selling their body for other food or money. The authorities and Shekhan local governments say all hands must be on deck to protect and ensure girls have adequate education stressing that religious and traditional leaders play critical roles to curb gender-based violence in children in the communities. We've had several cases. The issue of gender-based uh, violence. We have gathered women, religious leaders and stakeholders in the society. We've enlightened them on how to assist the girl child and on the need to educate every girl child must go to school. Because we told them if you are able to educate a girl, you, you are educating the nation. Also, security agencies say early warning signals are the best approach to mitigate gender violence in society, adding that no community develops in an atmosphere of criminality urging parents and community members to report cases to law enforcement agencies for actions. The parents at the grassroots level, we are not vigilant, the, the, especially the mothers, we are not vigilant enough to look at our gay children, our female children, because when you hear gender, some think it's only uh, female children that they molest. No. I have a situation where a male child is being you know, assaulted through the annuals. So it's for we parents now to put eye on our children. Started sensitizing the community on how to report cases, um, on how to speak out, not to keep things to themselves. Because if they don't speak out, nobody will know that this is what is really facing the community, especially when it has to do with gender-based violence. Some participants commended the engagement, saying it has impacted positively on their lives not to keep corporates of gender violence, rather to speak out through the right channel. This program has uh, helped us to know, especially based on gender equality, and the security aspects, it has really helped us because like we know, knowingly we don't know that we're talking to the wrong people, but as from now henceforth, we know whom to talk to and where to run to. The program really helped us to come closer to ourselves. Unlike before, when there's a report, you just go and report, you go back and stay, and later you will say there's injustice. And we're looking for you to come and give necessary evidence of what you report to, and you are not there. But now we may understand that you, have, you report to the proper person and you, re you remain until when justice has been taking place. The peace stakeholders insist to continue ensuring human rights principles, justice and mitigation of gender violence ultimate pathway for stability and process to justice and accountability.
Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.